diamonds. In 1958, jeweler Harry Winston donated the now famous Hope Diamond to the Smithsonian Institution. The Hope is the largest known deep blue diamond in the world. It arrived in a plain brown package by registered mail insured for one million dollars. Surrounded by 16 white pear-shaped and cushion-cut diamonds and hanging from a chain with 45 diamonds, the rare gem attracts 6 million visitors a year to the Natural History Museum in Washington, D.C. The Napoleon Diamond Necklace was presented by Napoleon I to Empress Marie Louise in celebration of the birth of their son in 1811. Marie Antoinette diamond earrings 20.34 and 14.25 carats set in diamond and platinum settings by Harry Winston Inc. At the British Natural History Museum, the Aurora Pyramid of Hope is one of the largest collections of natural fancy color diamonds comprising 296 gemstones. Diamonds are one of the most precious and valuable gemstones in the world, known for their exceptional hardness, brilliance, and durability. Diamonds are formed about 100 miles or so below the surface of the earth in the upper mantle. The combination of high temperature and high pressure is what is necessary to grow diamond crystals within the earth. Diamonds are made of carbon that bond together to grow as crystals. The temperature and pressure allow carbon atoms to bond to each other, with each carbon atom being bonded to four other carbon atoms. They are typically found in kimberlite pipes or alluvial deposits. During their growth deep underground, diamonds may incorporate other minerals inside them, known as inclusions. The presence of these inclusions is what determines how clear a diamond looks. The value of a diamond is determined by the famous four C's, carat weight, color, clarity, and cut. The Greek philosopher Plato believed diamonds were not dead stones, but very much alive. Encased in diamonds were heavenly spirits with ethereal powers. The ancient Greeks also believed that diamonds were the teardrops of these heavenly spirits, or gods. The ancient Romans believed that diamonds were invincible and couldn't be pierced by a sword. They wore diamonds as part of their armor, believing that it made them invincible. In particular, the leader of an army such as a king would wear a breastplate studded with diamonds. The peoples of the ancient Far East believed diamonds warded off ill health, poverty, bad spirits, fires, snakes, rats, poison, and more. The importance of diamonds is found in their widespread use across various industries. In the jewelry industry, diamonds are highly valued for their beauty and rarity, and are used to create stunning pieces of high-end jewelry. <laughs>